Hey you guys, so today I've got my order from Lush UK for five um, exclusive perfumes which belong to their perfume library in Florence, Italy. They have, Lush has two stores, I believe it is, it could be just one, but I think it's two, stores in the world that are called perfume library stores. And in these stores, they sell every Lush perfume ever made and body spray version and large spray bottle versions and small spray bo bottle versions, etc. And within this perfume library, there are five of these that are only sold at that store. The rest of the perfumes are perfumes like the body sprays that are available on the Lush USA and the Lush UK uh, websites and in stores, as well as other Lush spray perfumes that are available on Lush UK website. And, but these five uh, aren't available anywhere else except the perfume library stores. And for a limited time only, Lush UK has made these five available on their site. Um, I don't know about you, but they didn't s announce this or anything. I just happened to be on the site one day looking and I saw them, <laughs> I saw them up there and they happen to be in the size that is a, a, okay for them to send to us in the US. First of all, Lush is sending to us again in the US. A lot of people don't know that. I was surprised that a lot of people don't know that. And um, second, secondly, Lush can sell these size of perfumes, they're 30 mils, to us in the United States. It's the larger 100 mil and 90 mil bottles and then the body sprays that they can't send to us in the US, but these size they can. So now I'm going to go through all five of them and um, just kind of tell you what they smell like to me. So first I'm gonna start off with Fresh As. A lot of people bought Fresh As and um, I think Fresh As, I, I've heard of this one more than any of the others on Instagram. A lot of the uh, Lush community on Instagram told me that they were getting the Fresh As. Now, I don't know what any of these smell like I know nothing about these fragrances other than um, I did get the info about them, the descriptions about them, and the ingredients from Lush UK um, about a month ago, and um, we'll write all that on my blog. So first I'm going to try Fresh As, and these are all black label 30 ml spray bottle version, and this one is called Fresh As. And the ingredients say this is made with Siberian pine oil and orris oil and pine needle oil, absolute and something called, I never know how to pronounce this, Tagetes oil or Tagetes oil. So those four things, Siberian pine, orris, pine needle and Tajede's oil. A lot of people were telling me that they think this smells like the Lush jelly called Needles and Pine, which they love. So now I'm gonna spray this. I'm gonna try it. Ooh, I'm gonna try it on this wrist. Oh, oh this is so 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 nice oh it's lovely so first of all if you're thinking there's so much pine in it you're like oh gross what is, what is this gonna smell like just a bunch of pine needles but it doesn't it smells it's got that orris in there and orris is to me it's sort of like a, a soft powdery kind of ingredient 
absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to spray some, some more on here. Oh my gosh. Initially, this smells fresh, like fresh cut grass. And it's got this, it's not, I don't want to say that it's a sweet scent, but it's got a tad, tad bit of sweetness in it. It's just light and airy and green. You can definitely smell the pine, but it's not heavy. It's not woody and it's not, it's just, it's beautiful. It really is a beautiful scent. When I heard, when I read pine, I thought maybe this would be more of a sort of a men's scent, but no, this is a unisex scent. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. And I can't really tell you, um, except for, I can't really tell you any lush product that this smells like, except for the needles and pine shower jelly that lush, uh, sells or used to sell. Oh, it's just, if I could describe this in one word, I would say beautiful. It's fresh and green with a little powdery softness in there. It's only ever so slightly sweet. Absolutely gorgeous. Thus far, anyway. Thus far, I would rate this a 5 out of 5 rating. I'm going to wait until this dries down, dries down completely um, because sometimes fragrances can change from the wet version to when they're absolutely dry. So I'm going to move on. I'm going to get some coffee grounds here in a minute because that way I can give my nose a break and all the scents won't smell like each other. So this is the next one I wanted to try and this one is called Confetti and this one is more of a this one's like a gold tinge and this one's more like a greenish tinge. Confetti is more green and the pine one fresh as is more of a yellow tinge. Now Confetti has rose oil and violet leaf absolute and sandalwood oil. So rose and sandalwood is one of my favorite combinations and then violet leaf in there. So confetti, this should be interesting. So I'm going to spray it on this arm. This is so beautiful. <laughs> First of all, the rose and sandalwood did not disappoint as far as my expectations. I don't know what it is, but every Lush product that has rose and sandalwood combined, I love like crazy. And then there's that sand, uh, excuse me, then there's that violet in the middle there, that sweet floral scent. This one's, this one's sort of wanting to disappear on my, on my skin a little bit. This one smells mostly floral to me on my arm. And it's not uh, sweet. It's not sweet. It's ever so slightly sweet. Um, kind of like this other one that I sprayed. It's ever so slightly sweet. Even with the violet in here, it's not as sweet as you would think. Because the sandalwood really takes that sweetness down. I'm going to spray another spray of this. Because... At this point, this one is a little stronger than this one. So. Okay. 
when you first spray it, it's, it's sweeter. And as it dries down, it loses that sweetness. Now, if you like violet scents from Lush, you'll probably like this, although it is blended with a rose in the sandalwood, so just know that. I'm trying to think of all the violet things that Lush has made, like Violet Nights bath oil and V perfume and Tuka Tuka perfume and massage bar and the other perfume that Lush made called Curbside Violet. And this perfume is less violety than all of those that I just mentioned, okay? Again, because there's equal measure of rose and sandalwood with the violet, okay? Whereas those other things I mentioned are more violet forward. They have other things in them too, but the violet is stronger in those other things I just mentioned than it is in this perfume. That said, you can still smell the violet. It's just that it's not as sweet as Tuka Tuka. It's not as sweet as um, V. It's not as sweet as um, Violet Nights. And it's not, it's not as fresh smelling as the um, Curbside Violet. Curbside Violet is sweet violet, plus it has sort of a green grassy note. And this doesn't really have a green grassy note. This is sort of heavier. It smells good as it dries down. It's smelling good. It, it is a heavier um, kind of a scent than all of those that I just mentioned. I, hmm. So far that fresh as still smells like it did when I first sprayed it. It's really pretty. It's, uh, it's not overly piney. It really isn't. It's just sort of fresh and pretty. And confetti is, I don't think I would rate this a five out of five rating. Um, I would rate it either a three or a four out of five rating so far, but let me wait until it dries down before I tell you for sure. So that's, so those are two down and three to go. So next is Nero and Nero has bergamot oil and pettigrain oil and neroli oil. Now pettigrain is it's called the bitter orange tree it's like um, there's a plant called the bitter orange plant and pettigrain is made from that it pettigrain kind of smells like orange flower to me but more bitter and then this also has neroli in it that's why it's called nero neroli is orangey and it's like a cousin of the orange as well and the orange flower. So, and then bergamot oil, well, that's sort of citrusy and kind of spicy. So. So I'm going to spray Nero on this arm so it's far away from here. <laughs> this is where I sprayed fresh as and I'm going to spread, spray Nero down and on the opposite side of my arm. Ooh. It's very, um, very bright and citrusy. This one is very bright and citrusy and I mostly smell neroli and bergamot. 
so it's not very sweet um, it's more sort of fresh and bright it's just ever so slightly sweet kind of like the um, fresh as is ever so slightly sweet so is this um, this is definitely a, another unisex scent so I'm trying to I'm trying to think of other lush products that smell similar and I really can't think of any lush used to for you real OG lushies um, you might be thinking of the Prince um, Prince cologne or Prince shower gel that had neroli and orange in it and this really doesn't smell like that um, Prince was more orangey and more like more neroli, more orange, more tangerine, whereas this is less sort of orange and tangerine and more more neroli. Um, I'm trying to think of something that would smell like this. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like therapy massage bar if therapy massage bar were sort of amped up a little bit um, and I'm trying to think of what else I really I, I just really can't think of anything that smells like this it's not it's not very sweet it's um, almost sort of bitter it's not bitter where you're like ew it's just slightly bitter you know what I mean versus like confetti is more sweet at least when you first spray it confetti is turning sort of it's nicer when it dries down by the way on me it's somewhat somewhat soapy now that it's dried meaning soapy smelling like smells kind of vaguely like soap but you can still smell the violet and the rose and the sandalwood I still love fresh as you really have to like neroli and know what neroli smells like in order to like Nero in my opinion so all right so the next one I'm going to spray oh I can't wait to try this one now this one the last two that I haven't tried are frangipani and Sappho so I'm going to So Frangipani, Frangipani has guayac wood and sandalwood and almond essential oil and Frangipani absolute and tuberose absolute. I'm trying to decide which one to spray on my on this arm back here next Sappho this one has jasmine as its first ingredient and then Tonka absolute which is sort of like a caramely vanilla and then orris oil so we have more powdery orris again and sandalwood oil and vanilla and tobacco Jasmine, Tonka, Oris, Sandalwood, Vanilla, and Tobacco. Ooh. I think I'm going to try Sappho next. I'm going to try it way, way back here. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. You can definitely smell the orris and the tobacco. And the jasmine. Now, now, let me explain my personal um, experience with jasmine. I either love jasmine or I hate it. There's never any kind of in-between with me. It depends on what it's mixed with. So for instance, Lush makes a perfume and other things in the Lust fragrance. I hate that, hate it. It's just gross to me. Whereas Lush has made some of my favorite perfumes like Fever with Jasmine because it's mixed with rose and sandalwood and I love it. Like I say, it's one of my all time favorite perfumes is Fever and that has jasmine in it, but it's mixed with rose and sandalwood. Whereas Lust is primarily jasmine mixed with other things. So that said, this is very jasmine forward. Um, and it's got some orange, uh, excuse me, orris root. And this seem to be sweeter than the three perfumes that I've tried thus far. It's definitely sweeter and I can smell the tonka for sure. So it's this, to me, it's sort of an odd mix of floral and foodie, like yummy foodie bakery smell and then floral jasmine. So. I can see how a lot of people would like this, um, but it's not my favorite, I guess I'm going to put it that way. Um, it's very strong. In my opinion, it's stronger than any of the three that I've just sprayed. The Nero has dried down to... Um, Well, it smells like neroli, basically. Um, the fresh as is still beautiful. The confetti gets better on me as it dries. It's not very sweet, but I do smell the violet and the sandalwood, and it's it's nicer than when it was wet. The Sappho is like, whoo, it's, um, it's very strong and um, it's very strong. <laughs> I'll just put it that way. I'm going to wait for that to um, dry down. So now I have one more to try and I'm going to go um, get some coffee beans. I'm going to pause this, go get some coffee beans and smell it so I can, because my nose is getting sort of like a little overwhelmed and kind of numbed with all of these different perfumes, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and so n now, so I'm just going to go over um, the four perfumes that I tried are completely dry, and I'm still liking fresh as a lot <laughs> um now it just as it's thoroughly dry it just smells fresh and pretty so both fresh and pretty that's how i would describe it and the nero i i just find it hard to like um which surprises me because i usually really like all things orange. I like neroli, I like orange flower, I like oranges, I like orange oil, but I just don't, I just don't like this. It has this sort of, I, I don't know, it almost smells like, it almost smells like, cl like cleaning liquid or like something you'd use to clean your kitchen or something. 
and, and that's just on me, okay, my skin. Everybody's different. Everybody's nose is different. Everybody's skin chemistry is different. That's just what it smells like on me. So the, um, the confetti, I really like. <laughs> um, it's floral, but it's got that bit of sandalwood in there that sort of grounds it. So it's not like, in my opinion anyway, it's not like an old lady floral. It's pretty. Like fresh as is pretty, but fresh as is a little more fresh. And this is a little bit more, just a tiny bit more woody. I wouldn't even describe it as a woody fragrance. I'm just saying the sandalwood just grounds the violet and the, uh, the rose ever so subtly. I like it. And <clears throat> the, um, the Sappho is a no for me. And um, I'm surprised that I really wanted to like this because the ingredients sounded so good to me. Vanilla, sandalwood oil, orris, tonka. I thought it would smell more sort of like bakery-like, but it's just, um, it's too sweet. I never thought I would say that about anything, that it's too sweet, because I usually like sweet scents. But So the last one <laughs> is frangipani. And I'm going to spray that now on my hand, the back of my hand. Now this is a foodie one. This one is definitely, it's got guiac wood and sandalwood. So two kinds of wood. And then you've got your frangipani and your almond. So you've got almond and it's sweet. So it's kind of smells yummy. If you like like almond oil or almond essential oil, you can definitely smell that in here, but it's got a woodiness to it. And then you've got this tuberose. The sweetness is more so when it's wet and as it dries down, the sweetness also decreases. Hmm. I like this better than Nero and Sappho, but not as much as fresh as or confetti, not at all as much as those two. It smells kind of yummy, um, but in a very, very almondy way. So if you like, if you really like like almond scents, um, almond essential oil, you, you would probably really like frangipani. I would probably rate frangipani a three out of five. I would rate, I would rate the Sappho and the Nero. I would rate the Sappho like maybe a two out of five. It almost has a licorice kind of a, a note to me. That's kind of what it turns into on my skin. I'm talking about Sappho. It almost has like a licorice-y kind of scent and not in a good way because I like licorice. So I would say Sappho is a two out of five rating for me personally. And the Nero, the Nero is like maybe a two and a half to a three out of five rating. And the Frangipani, would be like maybe a two and a half to a three out of five rating. And the confetti would be a four out of five rating. And the fresh as would be a five out of five rating. So I hope that helps. Oh, I, I didn't show you the colors. So fresh as is like a gold color and confetti is like a greenish gold color. 
and the darkest one is Sappho. It's got like a dark brownish gold, amber color. And the Frangipani has a, a lighter gold color. And the Nero's got almost a clear color, clear tinge to it. So that, so that is what I think of these perfumes. I think the least, I think the least favorite for just for me is Sappho and my favorite favorite is Fresh As. So uh, with a second is confetti, but uh, I don't like confetti as good as Fresh As. So Frangipani sort of reminds me a little bit of the Almond Blossom. Um, shower gel and shower oil sort of like that but more layered more complex so i hope that helps <laughs> and i hope that helps you make your purchasing decisions and um uh with the others with sappho and frangi uh fran uh, Lilla, with sappho it doesn't smell like anything that i can think of i forgot to con do a comparative with that um I just can't think of anything. And I have all the perfumes, like, I'm trying to think of that one perfume that has tobacco in it as well. And I think it's either Voice of Reason or The Bug. I think it's Voice of Reason that has tobacco in it. I like Voice of Reason much more than I like Sappho. So just know that. Um, it's more, wearable on my skin just on me personally i don't know your mileage may vary like i say i want to emphasize that so um but i would say fresh as is a safe bet for anyone i think uh fresh as has the tendency to be liked by many different kinds of you know people that like different things it seems to have like a common common um, likability <laughs> I don't know if that's a making up words now but <laughs> you know what I mean so thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon on the next lush video I'll be making a video of the exclusive rainbow bubble bar from that gift set that I showed you the other day and also the knockout bubble bar I'll be making a video for the knockout bubble bar for Mother's Day so you can look forward to those too Thanks for watching again, and we'll talk to you soon on the next video. Bye.